Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today I am doing the 20 questions book tag or reading tag, reader tag, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I think without further ado, we should just get into it because there is 20 questions and I haven't read all of them. I've read the first three, I think. So I actually don't know what I will be talking about, which is also kind of fun. So the first question is, how many books are too many in a series? And I honestly don't really know what to answer. Because for me, I think six or above is too many. But it also really depends on the series because there are some series where I'm just like, I can't get enough of this world. I want to know more. For example, a series like Gracing or the Gracing Realm is a series that I actually wouldn't mind going further than the six books because the way it's built up and the way that every single book follows kind of like a new character and then everything is mixed in together. I really like that and I think that is a great way also to get to get to write more books in the same realm. I love that. But I also know that there is like Throne of Glass. I think that is also over six books, but I'm really not sure. And Land of Stories is six books. I could easily have <laughs> gotten more than that. So I feel like it's like some series should definitely not go maybe even above three. But then again, there are some stories that can just carry a longer series. So I feel like it's it's very dependent on what kind of story or what kind of book that book series that we're talking about. Generally, I'm gonna say like six. Six is too many. Question number two. How do you feel about cliffhangers? It's not that I love them, but I don't hate them. I accept them. If they're there, cool. If they're done, great. Amazing. If they're not there, fine. Like to be honest, I don't I don't care that much. Question three is paperback or hardbacks? And had you asked me, I think a year and a half ago, I would have said paperbacks, but now I am saying both because I honestly don't have a preference. Number four is favorite book. I don't know. I think that I am gonna go for These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong and Fire by Kristen Shore. Then we have least favorite book. I don't have it anymore, but it would be Smad and Spahn and I don't remember who it was by. It's a Danish book and I, I, I did not like it like at all. Then we have Love Triangles, yes or no? Both? <laughs> yes, but only if it's done well, I need to be in doubt as to who ends up with whom. Let's say we have a girl and then two guys and the girl is obviously interested in this one guy and he's interested in her and then the third guy, he's just kind of there loving her but maybe she doesn't know it or maybe she knows it and doesn't feel the same way. That kind of love triangle, I don't care for. The next question is the most recent book that you finished. Now this is pre-filmed as you might have learned by now, I do pre-film. As of right now when I'm filming, it would have been Deadly Class by um, Rick Reminder. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say Deadly Class. And it is a graphic novel. It was good. Not my usual genre, but it was good. The next question is then like a book that you're currently reading. And again, pre-filming and everything. So East by P <laughs> Edith Patu, but uh, when this video goes up, I will be in the middle or I will be reading A Bone Crier's Moon with Jem, but I will also be reading Where Rainbows End because when this video goes up, I will be in uh, or on our little family trip. Uh, confusing. Sometimes it's really confusing pre-filming because I, I don't know what, like, where my reading is when the video goes up, so... Can't really comment too much on that. Last book you recommended to someone. Oh, that's kind of difficult because I recommend a lot to my friend all the time. I think the last one was Kingdom of the Wicked. I recommended to my friend Victoria and she read it like in a couple of days. I think that is the most recent book that I've recommended, but I might be wrong. So next up is the oldest book I've read. Let me just go um, check it on my Goodreads because I've, I think I think I've actually read a lot of 
old books when I was in school. I'm gonna mention two because one is Danish and one is French. I read it in English. So the oldest book that I read was In Lensbytein's Daubo or Andre Novella by Steen Stevenson Blicker. I read that in school. I did not like it. I don't know how I would translate it. It is some kind of diary following this. Okay, so it's like a clerk. <laughs> I've, I've Google translated it or I've translated it. So it's like a village clerk or deacon. I don't know. When I read what it was, it is like a person who helps the priest. But basically it's a very old book. I didn't care much for it, but we had to read it for school. And it is from 1824. So that's rather old. <laughs> the other book that I read that is one of the oldest is uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. It was a chunker and it was hard to get through and that is from 1831. And the next question is the newest book that I've read and I'm gonna go back to Goodreads because I actually don't know what the newest book because it's not my most recent read. So the most recent published book that I have read is actually Goldilocks Wanted Dead or Alive by Chris Colfer. That is actually the only book I have read that has been published in 2021. So maybe I should get on with some of the newer published books. The next question is favorite author. And again, as with favorite book, I have multiple people that I'm thinking of, but I have also decided that I have like, I have to have read multiple books from that author in order to call it a favorite author, which means that people like Chloe Gong, um, Catherine Purdy, Sarita Cordova, Karen Maniscalco, Brie Barton, Sabata here, and Carol Beth Anderson, they don't really count because I've only read one book from them. So I'm gonna end up saying Chris Colfer where I have read almost everything. I'm also gonna go for Kristen Kishore. I have read the first three books in the Grisling realm. So I'm gonna go for those two because they're kind of like the only ones that I feel like I can pick. The next question, buying books or borrowing books? Buying books. A book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. I'm gonna have to go for Truth Witch by Susan Dinner. I didn't like it. Then we have bookmarks or dog ears and pff, bookmarks. It's not even a question. A book you can always reread. Graceling, Plan of Stories, always. Can you read while listening to music? Yes, I can. I have a reading playlist on my Spotify that is called Reading 101 and it is basically just a bunch of songs from soundtracks. So like the soundtrack of Sinbad is great reading stuff, but I cannot read if there is like lyrics, if there's somebody singing, except <laughs> if the person is singing in a different language. So if I'm reading in English, but the person is singing in Danish, French, Italian, something, then I can actually still read. But if I am reading in English and the person is singing in English, then I get distracted and I can't read. But I usually listen to music. I usually have some kind of background noise when I am reading. So yes, I can actually listen to music while I'm reading. One POV or multiple POVs? I like multiple POVs, but I also like one POV. So both, I honestly don't know. I like both and I don't know which one I prefer. Do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? Sometimes I read books in one sitting, but it is not that often. I usually read a book over multiple days. And the last question is who do you tag? I am gonna tag Beth from Beth Does Books, Gemma from Gem of Books, Becky from T Cut the Storyteller, Ellie from Bibbidi Bobbidi Books, and I am also gonna tag Gem from Bookish Gems. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you can listen to music whilst reading or if it is too distracting. Um, I would actually really love to know. If you like this video, please hit the like icon. And if you want to see more of my bookish content, then hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified every single time that I post, you can hit that little bell icon. It would just mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye! Thank <laughs> you.